kitchen. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a giant chicken nugget, or maybe multiple giant chicken nuggets. Also, don't forget, I make a new video every single day at 12 p.m., so don't forget to hit that subscribe button so we can hang out every day like this and cook fun stuff. Let's get to it. I have all these herbs and spices here. I've got some garlic powder, cayenne pepper, chili powder, some black pepper, some smoked paprika, some salt. I don't want my chicken nugget to be like, you know, nasty. And I got all this awesome ground chicken right here. So I can get it open. Wow, this is like the strongest plastic ever. Jeez, what is this made out of? Help. Ah, chicken. Bam, let's get that in there. Cannot. I wonder if chicken's like a good moisturizer for your skin. Jeez, you bought so much chicken, Mom. Was this necessary? It's always necessary. Always, always, I always just get too much of everything. So, you know, warm up the chicken a little. Gonna get it ready for all the spices that it's about to go in it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and throw all the spices in. Oh, oh, okay, cool. I love smoked paprika so much. I am so excited that, I, oh my gosh, this is freezing. <sighs> ah, this is, <clears throat> I just got some paprika in my mouth. This is so cold, oh my gosh. It should be the ground, frozen chicken ground. This is freezing, oh my, my hands are so cold. <sighs> There has to be a better way to do this. Ah, man. This is so cold. Ah, 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 my hands are freezing. <laughs> okay, so I used to work at Chipotle. Like, maybe two years ago, I worked at Chipotle. And uh, we had to kind of do the same thing with this, but we had to wear gloves. And it was still, so, oh, oh, it was so cold. I'm, like, tearing up right now because this is so painful. Ah, oh, you chicken. You freaking chicken. Freaking chicken, you're so cold. Woo! 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 Oh! I'm tearing up from this chicken. I've never had frozen ground chicken hurt me so much in my life. I want my chicken to be flavorful though, you know? Oh, I think it knows. Oh, it's so cold. I just want the paprika and stuff to be mixed around well. Come on, baby. Come on. It's so cold. Oh, chicken, why are you so cold? Please don't be so cold. No, don't warm up either. I don't want salmonella. It's gonna get a little messy. I'm um, gonna need something with a little bit of water in it. Then you just grab two eggs. One, two. So this is gonna be your egg wash to coat your chicken nugget so breadcrumbs and stuff will stick to it. Grab some breadcrumbs. I know, I'm like, what the heck are breadcrumbs? But I got seasoned breadcrumbs. They come in a container that looks like this. Two cups of it, like a bunch of it right here. Now I'm gonna grab flour. Mmm, come on flour, don't spill on me, okay. <laughs> just, you know, gently mix it with your hand. Gently just mix these breadcrumbs around. Grab, like, a lot of chicken. Just make two giant nugs. I want to shape it kind of like a Mickey D's chicken nugget. Okay, so, like, this looks pretty nice. Always look like either, like, a foot. This is my giant chicken nug so far. What I'm going to do is grab some of this handy-dandy egg wash. Just kind of, like, drizzle it on it. Like that, and just, like, move it around. Massage it. Massage the egg wash all over this and actually just throw it in the breadcrumbs and then just move breadcrumbs around it Smells so good because breadcrumbs have like herbs and stuff. And we're gonna start working on my second chicken nugget This one's gonna be more of the circular one. Like, you know McDonald's they have like this more circle nugget Mine's gonna be this one's gonna be that one Just wrap it all around just like reshape it in your hands before you get it to the breadcrumbs if you want Breadcrumb it up. Breadcrumb it up. Breadcrumbs Bread crumb it up. Now that I have put my breadcrumbs on it, you can actually put it in your freezer for a little bit to see how it's like moving around and you don't want to risk it like breaking. You can put it in your freezer for about like five, 10 minutes just to harden it up a little. Don't actually freeze it. You can use a thermometer to check the temperature of the oil. I waited till it was like 400 degrees and use extreme caution. I used the double spatula wooden technique. Yeah, it's a, it's a real term. I was so careful because this is hot. Be very careful and gently drop it in there and watch the bubbles. After about five minutes, you want to check on your chicken nugget. Oh my gosh, it's so brown already. It's only been like five minutes in there. Holy crap. Okay, we got to get the chicken nugget out of here. Let's do it. Uh, 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 okay, it's ripping. It's ripping. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, okay. Double technique. Uh, tong and, and spatula. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, this is so hot. Everything, this is like the worst case scenario. Oh my, come on, come on, come on, chicken nugget. Oh my goodness. Okay, we really gotta get it out this time. I just, okay, whew, whew. All right, time to fry bad boy chicken nugget number two. Ooh, 
yeah that was nice and gentle that was perfect now I'm just gonna check on it again to make sure that it's not going crazy brown like the last one okay it's good I turned down the heat a little bit okay great now this one is fully cooked it is ready to get out come on first try baby let's do this uh, uh. Yeah, of course to cook something this large fully you gotta bake it. So I baked mine at 350 for about 40 minutes these nugs up I just want to revel in them ah that was hot this juice was so hot oh my gosh ouch this chicken does not want to stop hurting me I just want to revel in the size of my nugs look at the size and perfection and shape wow I would win like a giant chicken nugget contest right now like look how beautiful the color is on that they're crispy they're not soggy they smell delicious okay let's get into cutting them up Woo! giant chicken nuggets giant chicken nuggets giant chicken nuggets wow just Oh my goodness, this cut was so easy. Interesting. Let's take a look inside. Yes, yes, look at that. You can see all the spices in there. Mmm, that smells good. That, that sounds like, oh, just look at that. Oh, okay, let's keep cutting. I'm gonna cut this one right here in half. Nice, nice. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it is beautiful and fully cooked. No red meat here. Yes, I am a god. Okay, I'm gonna keep cutting. It's very satisfying to cut this. Almost as satisfying as cutting jello, but it's not as hard, so I don't have to make my noises I typically make. Ugh, just kidding, I had to make one. Okay, wow, just let's look at this one. No, come on. Okay, ah, uh, there we go. Wow, wow, wow. But it's just really easy to cut and crispy and I love cutting it. You guys should make a giant chicken nugget and just cut it sometime. And look at it. Look at it. Look at it. But yes. Voila. Alright guys, so I got my giant chicken nugget right here. And you know what? I think I'm actually gonna like eat this whole thing throughout the week. I could feed a whole family with this. It is so well done. Like this is probably one of my best done DIYs. Like it's so done and crispy and like I cannot wait to put this in my mouth. Like look how delicious that looks. It's steaming still. It's still hot. I don't know if you guys can see the steam right there. I don't know if you can, but it's steaming still. So I'm gonna get my favorite sauce right here. Mmm. Put that right there, bam. And uh, we're gonna give this nugs a little taste test. And uh, I wanna grab the really crispy piece right here on the end. And uh, oh, it's still steaming hot. Let's try it out. It's really good. It tastes like a chicken nugget with like spices and stuff inside because I put all that paprika or the garlic. Okay, okay, all right, we're in business. Giant chicken nugget. You know, if you know someone like me who loves chicken nuggets, you can make them like this giant chicken nugget and put candles in it and make it like a giant chicken nugget cake. It's hilarious. I might do that for if I ever meet anyone that likes chicken nuggets as much as I do. So this is so good. I wish I could share some with you guys. I'm sorry that I can't. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So good. Thank you guys so much for watching me make these giant chicken nuggets today. Oh my gosh, giant chicken McNuggets. And remember, I post a video every single day, so give me a big thumbs up for making you guys some giant chicken nuggets. And also, leave what I should make next in the comments below. I actually got this from a comment, so you never know. Your comment could be the next DIY I make. So leave comments in the comments. Tell me what you thought. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. sharp. Peace. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm gonna be making Oreo Galaxy Pudding. Make sure to subscribe. I post a video every single day so we get to hang out in my kitchen and sometimes at other places every single day. So I'll see you then. Let's get to it. You wanna start by adding some cornstarch and then adding sugar. After you have your sugar added, you wanna mix it all together, mix it all together, get it all nice incorporated and slowly mix in some milk and add this milk and make it nice and beautiful and make sure the cornstarch is dissolved. Big! Ouch, okay, they're really hot and they're starting to burn my hands now. I'm gonna put this down now. Okay, let's put it down. Here it's, ah, uh, giant chicken nuggets. <laughs>